Yeah, England played kind of mid on the second half. But the first half, they were pretty good. They were pretty good, chat. They were pretty good. But they won. That's all that matters. They won. Who cares? Why is everyone... Is Southgate, is Southgate the problem, chat? Listen, chat. Be unbiased here. Be unbiased. I feel like England's team comp is pretty good. Like their players are pretty good, right? Like they have good players, don't they? Like I thought Harry Kane was good. I thought Bellingham was good. I thought uh, Kyle Walking is good and shit like that. Why do they suck then? I don't get it. You have good players. Why are you trash? Why are you fucking bad? Is it the strategy? Is it the strat? No team play, your coach sucks. How can you tell that the coach sucks? And I would love to know. How do you guys like how do you guys know the coach is trash? Because I don't look at a league game and see some bad macro and say it's their coach's fault. The tactics, mate. Oh, it's the tactics, mate. What's the tactics? Is the tactics are what the numbers you choose? One four four one six or some shit you put in your pin code. He sat on the seat, muted the whole game. Hmm. Four three three. Four three three. Okay. Well, watch if they swing four three three. Then what should he do? And the way they play for England versus the way they play for club football is night and day. Chad, what should their pin code be? Should it be one eight one one three one? If they're doing four four three, should they change it up? They're playing very reactive defensive. I'm so glad T1 Worlds. Not sure if any of the fans feel the same, but I was so invested in the team for the last few years. My emotional state is way too dependent on T1 winning for the healthy lol. There's so much more time. Yeah, it was really good they finally did. Kuma having to deal with Zeus picking TF whenever he gets a chance. What is this? Problem solving. I think I will cause problems on accident on purpose. Solve problems, cause problems. Yeah, Zeus is, is causing problems. What is this? To be clear, Lehen saying that he and Keen are going to military together next year is a joke. People keep saying it online. Lehen often says that it's a joke. He's just making fun of Keen. Did they say it? they were joking about going to the military? What did he say? Ooh, Faker skin. I can feel his aura. I can feel him inside me right now. Faker himself. When you use a skin, it literally feels like Faker's inside you, like literally. Okay, bro, shut up. Kumishi went from challenger after losing a billionth time in a Gen G series. What Pedro and the rats missed from day two of LCS. Talk to me, what did we miss? Quid pulled out Ezreal mid. I told you Ezreal mid was good. And he fried on it. Ayla and Meech went after FBI and Huhi from minute three and got ahead. Energy had one good fight at minute ten over grubs, but that was it. The triple AD carry combo didn't work. Yeah, T wait. Oh, you're telling me the TF top didn't work in LCS? Really? Did it not? Sniper made some mistakes. Ayla River hit every engage, so it didn't matter. Yo, I could have told you that. NRG first picked Nidley. Wait, so you're telling me the team in the LCS that picked TF top in game one and Nidley in game two lost 2 0. Really? That's the most unfathomable thing Pork, I could have ever heard go, of. Man. Are you telling me the team that with like fucking Maokai or or Nautilus or Sejuani won? That is crazy. IMT1, IMT1. Wait, Shopify Red Bellion is 0 2? Hold up, let me see Shopify Red Bellion's draft. Not too bad, not too bad. They dodge the impale. Why are we playing Nidalee? Why are we even why I can't do it. I was about to do it, but I'm not gonna do it. Corky mid, I don't think he's strong. Chubby makes him look stronger than they are. Yeah. Listen, guys, like 
how many times are Western teams going to open up LCK, see a oh, draft of Corky Nidalee and think, ah, that's Hi. the strongest pick in the game. Then they're going to walk over to their scrim PC, sit down, open up their champ select and lock in Corky Nidalee. Attention all junglers in the West. Stop picking Nidalee. Stop picking Twisted Fate top. Clay Sejuani Malkai Ivern. Thank you. Sorry, I just had to do that. One announcement. One announcement. I, I have to check something. Maybe I'm maybe I'm fried. So it's 0 4 in LCS. 0 1 in LEC. What is it in LCK? 4 4. Who's got the wins on it? Ah, yes. Let's do a quick check. Canyon Lucid Cuz. Where are the other losses? Who was it? Young Jay and Sylvie. How has Canyon done this? What is it in LPL? Is there LPL stats? Summer placements, what it's called. Nine and nine. Wait, Tian popped off against OMG. Holy fuck. Bro, I don't know how Canyon's done this, but he's actually convinced an entire generation that it's OP. And it is. It is, like, I feel like if you play Nidley Comp and double AD solo laners, and you have an insanely good team of insanely good solo laners, and your support is insanely good, and your Nidley is insanely good, then it's really good to play. But if all of those things don't check out, then just please play Azir Maokai, and you'll probably get more wins. And the meta will change before Worlds comes, and you'll be fine, I promise. What did Adam tweet? I warned you, you won't have to come suck now. Kote, who flies creative lane to get Kana to get gapped like that. We haven't experienced that since Kaori. Oh my god. So Adam's just going in on Kana, flaming him to the ground, I guess. Why does it... Bro. Why does Twitter say that it was tweeted from Earth? I don't get it. Where else is it going to get tweeted from? Where else is it going to... Is, is that for, like, the flat earthers or something? Or, or is it for the fucking conspiracy theorists out there? Is it just to stop aliens, uh, controversies? When you get caught stream sniping in an NNO cup. You can see that, right? I'm legally blind, I can see, barely. Barely, but I'm innocent. I ain't do nothing. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my side of the story. I can't tell no other story. I'm innocent. And mama, I love you. P.O.P. I'm, I'm legally blind. I'm legally blind. T1 after today's loss against Gen.G. We cannot beat this. We cannot beat this motherfucking team for shit. <laughs> Classic. LCK opening songs. 2024 spring. I'm fired. 2024 summer. I'm never hired. Pedro after saying he's done. I got one more in me. Spear shots down for a call with you about the whole thing. Yeah, we can call. But I, I, I did say I was kind of done. Call with Cajal about some mid to go over your thoughts because a lot of the selected clips sent by the chat has given a large audience a terrible view about you and your team. And if you're down for it, I think it could clear up a lot for the public and for the relationship between you guys. I agree. I think you should get in a call. He said I agree, but yeah, I'm done. LSK players applying to join Gen G next season. <laughs> Check this link. What is it? Who's the better mid between you and Kajal? Um, I'm a better mid laner on pretty much every champion. The only champion that Kajal is better at is Malzahar. Kajal is really good for at Malzahar. And he's really good at K Corky too. Don't forget that. He's really good at Corky. Kanavi brought the Faker skin and started playing the Faker Azir play versus JDG last year. Ah oh, shit. Followed by two minutes of awkward laughing silence riot game. You should put a trigger warning. <laughs> Mega Champion reworks incoming. Really? 
We're gonna get four more reworks soon. Those shall be for Swain, Nafiri, Ziggs, and Kasante. Ray, a riot. What really? Confirmed that they are working on some they're gonna re they're gonna rework Nafiri and Kasante and Rexai. And those two were pretty major, even if they were mostly reverts to how they were a while ago with some. I thought they reworked Swain that, already. But they did something to all of their abilities, so there should be quite a lot of changes for those four as well. But before it's a sponsor into it. Swain, they did try to change before already. They did a mini meat scope not too long ago after his VGU, but guess it wasn't enough. He was pretty strong as a support for a while, but he has a horrible win rate now and is very unpopular with a tiny pick rate. He's doing okay in mid with quite a big win rate, but the pick rate is still small, so he's quite situational or only works in low elo since the higher you go, the is lower this real? the win rate goes. Really? To. He's too unpopular right now in both roles and sucks as a support. Maybe they need to revert the infinite healing changes and give more power to the rest of his kit, like making his E easier to hit so you can't do 10 push ups and. Bro, I swear. Reworking Swain again, reworking Cassante, reworking Nafiri, a new champ, that all just sounds like a waste of time. Reworking Ziggs sounds like a waste of time. Are there not champions that are just sitting there dead in the water to ride? Like, I think Morgana needs a rework. I think Jin needs some love. Like Jin is just completely out of it. I think maybe Nasus could get some updates or like Shivana could be a better dragon. Like or more modernized. Chat, don't say Jin question mark. You're holding on to nostalgia. Jin is the coolest champ ever made. But his kit is outdated. It is. Jin is not an AD carry anymore. He is a spellcaster with four bullets and a gun that do fuck all until he gets like five items. And even then, he's far, far, far inferior to every AD carry at the late game. Like Jin just needs a bit of love to be more modernized. Either give him more ammo or some shit. Give him a different spell. I'm not saying to change the champ. He just needs a small rework or a small bit of love. Because I think Jin is Riot's coolest champ. But to be honest, that champ is just so bad these days. Scout just played Malzahar and died eight times. Ah, uh, but he won. He won. Happy two year anniversary to the last time Morgana supports won a pro game. If Lil Pup had to go to the dentist 200 years ago, although the good doctor's names remains obscure in the history of medicine, every person who has visited their dentist since 1884 discovery of local anesthesia should thank Dr. Carl Collar, who proposed numbing our gums and other exposed body tissues with cocaine. So you're telling me everyone pre-1800s was just on cocaine for every fucking... That's the video I watched, I watched that. For every fucking operation. Wow, Kanabi says. The faker skin. Then he watches the, the story of the skin. <laughs> the JDG knocker. <laughs> Aware. Just remembered when the Rat King was on stage with the Baos FFS in the LEC. Yeah, I remember. I remember telling the LEC, I was like, yo, you should get the Baos on for a day. Like, I'll look after him. I'll, I'll have him on desk with me. Just fucking oh, bring the Baos on the show. Man. It sounds like it'll be funny. What is this? What is this? I saw the anvil. So I can't. What is this? Ready to take a fight. Flash over. How do you. Just cancelled. Wait. That was Cancel just cancelled it. What do you mean you found this clip on Africa TV? What is the what are the Korean fans doing on Africa TV? What is that? Uh, oh my God! Look at Go look at Guma Yushi's match match history in solo queue. <laughs> nah. Wait, Chad. What is the um? I don't want to get back into the drama, but what is the conclusion? Is um Mid Beast back in the tournament, or is he is he still out?
XD. There's a rematch. Wait, they did a statement. Yesterday, an incident occurred that you might have already seen on CS on Twitter and Twitch. In summary, 99 is being accused of ghosting the draft preparation oh, of the Bows of FS before their third game in the official series yesterday, mentioning to them that the team Bows picked TF and Quinn, which he heard when he joined stream before the last game for context. Nadia claims that he was getting information from his Twitch stream and was referring to a VOD where he watched Bows of FS scrims before the last match in order to prepare the draft. In fact, there was never a discussion there. A pencil pen, so Quinn TF combo for the second match on Team Bows. Nadia, as I mentioned closely before, Nadia said that Quinn had been mentioned in game one time before game two and TF and Quinn one time before game three. On the other hand, the message referred to from then that actually exists is at the correct time link 3. Team Baus ended up not picking either Quinn or TF. In game 4, they counterpicked the Kali with TF, which also didn't create a draft advantage for Team Spearshot. Nevertheless, it is important for us to check if Nanny was ghosting or just referring to an earlier vote. We had a personal talk with him, out of perspective of his explanation, he seemed trustworthy. Talk. <laughs> Let's go, We've man. talked to Spearshot and Nanny team on the Baus to clear Routing out any doubt court. and agree to remake the series under the following conditions. Spearshot starts with 1 0, Rengar's global band, all champs are available, Team Baus has side selection. NNO didn't once mention that we did not force Team Spearshot to do this remake, and they would have moved forwards regardless with a different punishment, but we respect the decision from both teams. Also, receiving coaching is not clarified as cheating and legal for every team. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that that had to be clarified. By the way, guys, if someone helps you with your draft, that's not classed as cheating. That's actually a professional role. It's called a coach, uh, in case you, you guys, guys who don't know what the, that role is. Uh, if someone helps you with draft, that's actually called coaching. Bro, what in the fuck? Well, that's nice of them to agree to a rematch. They didn't have to do that. I mean, the, the, the whole thing, the last thing I'll say is the problem is, the problem is, from my perspective, is if you have cheated or if there's any inkling of cheating, this is, the problem doesn't scale. It's, it's, it's binary. Did you cheat? Yes. Okay, it doesn't matter how much you cheated. You did. That's the problem, right? It, it's, Im it's immeasurable. No matter what. No matter what. I think I found a chat hopper. Chat, do you think that guy's a chat hopper? Do you think he's a chat hopper? Look at him. Look at him jump for us. Look at him. Look at the little bunny. Look at him bounce. Look at him bounce up and down between chats, spreading links and calling people idiots. Wow, you must be really cool, Mr. Chathopper. I don't even care enough to move my mouse to click the ban button. I will lift my hand and do this. That's all you'll get.